Joma food is from Six Nations Indian Reservation. With, with Native peoples, our history runs very deep. And, and in our culture and in our community, it's, it's very highly regarded. Creativity is, is very important in the way we function, in the way we operate. Mafood started playing music at a young age while living in Riverside. Like sixth grade, I, I wrote a bunch of music and started a band with, with my uncle and a couple of guys from the neighborhood. And um, we started giving concerts at School 60. And um, from there, I went to Buffalo Performing Arts and I, I started to do like some more formalized type of training. You love music and you wanted to make sure that your heritage was not forgotten either. How did you incorporate your heritage into your music? Um, well, well, pretty simply, um, one, of the, one of the bands that I worked in was, was an all native band and we were called the Pappy John's Band and we had a couple albums. We won um, a, lot, a lot of awards called Can-Am's Canadian Aboriginal Awards. And um, we, had, we were invited to play all over the world um, and we played major festivals and um, you know basically our, our our claim on that whole thing was that uh, we were an all native band. Is there a difference between Native American music and maybe rock and roll, heavy metal, R&B? How do you differentiate it? Well there are really successful native artists in all of those genres. You know, and there's always that spirit in their music. Like it always, it always has that certain spirit to it, where they they connect deep to what it is that they're performing. We're an evolving culture of people, just like everybody else. You know, I took a bunch of kids from my old high school on expeditions, and they spent a couple of days with me on the reservation. And um, they were surprised to see everybody driving cars and having cell phones, which which astounded me, to be honest with you, because I didn't, I never really saw that they thought that I went home on a horse or anything like that. You know, we do have like that traditional music and and those and those traditional sounds and that and that traditional stuff, you know, done with the hand drum and on the water drum and, and all those dances that, that go really far back and they're they're passed down through generations. Blues is a really big style of music on the reservations. And, and now, a lot of the kids now, they, they're, they're really getting into hip hop. And as a musician and, as, and as, as a guy that spent 20 years as a school teacher, when I listen to the modern hip hop artists and I look back as blues as being my real primary genre, when I listen to what a blues artist was doing, they were using the instrumentation of the day and they were talking about the time. So the kids feel that and they're, they're drawn to it. So now when I, when I go up and play a lot of times, you know, they want me to have a rap artist on the, on the bill with, you know, me would be in a straight up traditional blues band type of thing. And uh, those are some pretty cool endeavors. Instead of working at Super Duper, I, uh, <laughs> I worked for Crash Cadillacs and the T-Street Cruisers all through high school. So it was like a 50s cover band, Process and the Do-Rags, and then they became the Homeboys. I worked for Lance Diamond. Wow. I was with the Hurricanes Blues Band. Then after the Hurricanes, with Jerry Sampson, I started J.J. Swing. I left that because I started working with the Peppy Johns Band, and that was the all-native band. And we had those albums that became really successful, so we got invited to these. It was a dream recorded an album with Appleby Reinhardt Mafu called Echoes in Time. And today, he's still playing. I just hire cats that can do the charts right and say, hey, yo, I want to play tomorrow. Let's play these tunes. And they're like, got you, and we go and roll. <laughs>